thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. Um, it's been a while since I produced another video. A video out of this uh, mayhem of what's going on with COVID-19. Uh, at the beginning of this, I was surprised to see that everybody was, was following along with the, the government recommendations. I've been doing this thing for 10 years roughly now. Uh, I don't know why the Lord had me come out and speak out as I have against the, the organization I'll call them, which you and I are a part of. The organization has uh, colluded together with everything the world has to offer in manipulating what we are going through right now. So you and I being a part of this uh, organization is uh, under a false pretense that you do not, you and I do not belong to any sort of uh, organization. Um, this organization really, the Bible says or describes it as the world. The world, watch what the world does. You're not supposed to be fooled by the world. You're supposed to follow the Almighty. And the Almighty has shown me many years ago that the world is coming after us. Each and every single one of us. So when COVID uh, bloomed out, I was expecting to be um, vindicated for the work that I've done over all these years. But... Uh, Unfortunately, um, as the Lord has showed me, as Canadians, we're, we're in a group that is more blind than most, almost all countries. We're more, more blind because of our um, overwhelming abundance of uh, privilege over all these decades um, and with that privilege we have um, also uh, generally speaking a kind heart but um, the organization has used that kind heart against us very um, craftily I would say we as Canadians are making this thing very simple for the organization to um, bring this construct that is coming into the, into the world uh, very easy. Uh, by going walk around, walking around in the, um, the community wearing masks is only an indicator for the organization to see how far, how easily or how much we are following their design or their agenda, their will, so to speak. Unfortunately, another thing is that we don't understand, the general population, don't understand that, and this goes for every, every person, like I have to say every person in the world, don't understand that we are uh, following uh, a false god. And this false god is, is called mammon. The, the God of money, according to the Word of God. Uh, we, we, 
work, wake up in the morning and only concern ourselves about this um, attaining of money in every language, no matter how much people know about this uh, wicked and um, dark agenda that is coming up or going on right now, they always make a reference about to about getting back money or money shouldn't be going this way or they want us to fund their their new um, plan to get away from the sort of dark element that we're walking into. But uh, how is this done? It's it, it was done by um, the schooling and education system, for one. Everything that um, we 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 follow is guided by this dark agenda that has been in play for hundreds of years. The education system that um, the organization use uh, is one that designs us into their um, foot soldiers, let's put it that way. We work, we go out and work in their world and we, we feel because they have given us this design of uh, what we think we are being free, um, we work in their field and we pay for all the things that they want to be constructed. Now we're in a place where all that construct is folding back on us because their main mission is to, <laughs> and they've said it many times, and people still don't see it or understand it or don't even believe it. Their main agenda is to depopulate because they have has seen us, little people, so to speak, um, as the wasters. We are the wasters and we're uh, sucking up all their resources and they're not happy with this. This evil agenda that they have for depopulation has skipped uh, many folds. This is supposed to take place another decade or two away from now. But they have stepped it up for whatever reason um, I'm not really aware of. But anyways, um, this manipulation and this plan is going very well for them. Unfortunately, uh, as Canadians, um, like I said, we're making it very easy because of our overall um, kindness that um, I won't even give us credit as being Canadians and being kind. It's all, even the kindness that we have has been a, a manipulation over time through our lives. We've been, we've been bred to be um, humble and kind as uh, an overall community to one another. But this kindness has been um, also a mask of blindness as well to what the international, sorry, I won't even say international, with the, with the highest groups, and I'm talking about monetary groups, uh, monetary families have in store for the rest of the world. Um, all these groups they, they have been given fancy names like the World Health Organization and uh, I've learned a few more um, CEPI uh, uh, Coalition for Epidemic uh, Prepared Im uh, Innovation or something like that um, all these 
names that they've been given, uh, they they do it in a in a way or a fashion that uh, makes them sound like they're it's for our our good, our well being, our our uh, our longevity of life, but it, it's been and it's always been. Uh, and a hierarchy of of darkness the Bible says there would come a day when Jesus shall return and this is what I'm speaking out for I came um, many years ago to start speaking against uh, what was it back then for me it was the Bilderberg group and uh, the, the BIS business of international systems or something like that and this is a banking cartel this is the highest banking cartel I know it's called the BIS look it up but um, they run all the other banks of the world, the international banks of the world, the, the IRS, the, the, the Canadian um, Central Bank. Uh, all the banks of the world are run by, it's not even uh, the IMF, they're above the IMF. Uh, and um, the elites use all these things against you, you and I. The last uh, few the last few videos I made were to try and get you to understand that you you and I are made into a corporation and as a corporation you, fu you function for the, the big system or big brother in giving them means to do whatever they want. You and I uh, are fooled into believing that we elect government officials to do things or orchestrate things for you and I on a whole. And we're allowed to do this every five years to get um, what we want to be done done uh, to better our lives but that's a falsehood it's always been a falsehood and then this is a falsehood in every country because um, the organization let's call them the, the the better name I'll call them Hydra Hydra is like um, a, a, an octopus, many tentacles, many arms, and, and it you know, has one mind, and and the arms are doing all these things. Many things they make it look like they're doing good, but at the high end of um, the brain, it's it's all working a mastermind of evil. You're going to ask me um, about if I believe that God is uh, a God of the world. Yes, there is a God of the world, but he said there would come a day of darkness when Noah, the days of Noah would return. And when, those, um, when this day would come, he would send his son to return. Jesus said himself, this is what will happen. The days of Noah would return. You won't see it. And this is what I'm looking at right now. Um, the world doesn't see it. Uh, what am I looking at? Uh, next year, Jesus coming? I don't know. I doubt that. 
um, next 10 years? I don't know. Uh, uh, but I see something that is moving so fast. And I can see that, um, like I told people last year with the vaccine coming out, they're getting, they're having a reason to kill you. They're taking a reason to kill you. And, and and very few see it. There are some that are waking up, and I, and these are um, some of my friends, uh, and I'm I'm so thankful just to to witness it that some of my friends have woken up and hear what I've been trying to speak out about almost a decade ago. It's really nice, and it really touches me. Even just the few. I don't know why I was given this um, thing to do, but I could see that God is a miracle worker, the true God of the earth. And um, <laughs> um, even in the, all this darkness that we, we look out and you see a beautiful day. There's the beautiful clouds, you see the blue sky and everything, but we live in a world of darkness. Without the light, there is, it's complete and utter darkness. The Lord has shown me. And the darkness in the world um, cannot handle the true light, the true light of God. And God says, I will rid himself of the darkness by the return of his coming. The reason why I feel like um, I was pushed into doing this, because I don't know, God has His purpose. He puts people in the world, and I can see that it's not just—it's not like me, just me. That He said they would do His bidding, His follow His direction, and I hope I have. I really do hope I have. Um, because I know I will be judged on what I I have or haven't done. And the only thing that really fears me is God himself. God himself. The, I don't really care for my life. I don't care for my job. Um, I think I've shown that by walking into my office and telling them what, what the Lord wants me to do. But... Um, Maybe I haven't shown that because I haven't spoken out every day about what's going on so people can understand or see. There's only, what, um, I think eight people watching my videos. And I think three of them are myself. As I check to see them over time, I can't remember what I said in certain things. But um, I think the reason why God put me to do this is to show to people that I know, maybe the eight people that I know, that He comes first in everything. He'll tell you straight to your face, I am the, the true God. And I come and I give my knowledge to my people through a dream or through a vision. And they speak the things that I say are to be. That's plain and simple. That's all how I see it. I was put here to do that. And that's all I really know about myself. In this um, overall world agenda. God's agenda. This is His direction of things. He gives truth. 
he gives the spirit of truth. So, yes, I, I will not follow these mandates. I will not walk around with a mask on my face to um, uh, help the darkness. You know, I have to look somebody in the eye and say that I'm not going to be a part of this because um, the true agenda is the, the agenda of the dark one, uh, the evil one, sorry. It's time for everybody to wake up. And I really don't see it. Uh, the people that I uh, I hear speaking out on uh, the internet or they, you can't speak out on YouTube, Facebook because they'll shut you down quickly. It, you can't you, if you speak out, you know, they'll they'll brand you, you know, or tell you or or block your your channel or your your account. You have to go into another realm of of uh, letting your information get out. It's annoying, and they want to make it annoying for you. They they control the organization controls everything, the hospitals the doctors in the hospitals. Like I said, every person is a corporation and they are using the, this, this, uh, the manipulation of mammon, God, money, to, to control everything. Everybody gets an incentive for uh, spilling this, uh, uh, the, the, the evil um, way Things tie into COVID-19. Everything that ties into COVID-19 is used through darkness. Like, uh, just give them a little bit of extra money for uh, signing a piece of paper. And it's the easiest amount of money that uh, a doctor can make nowadays. Yeah. Or an organization can make nowadays. Just tell your organization you, you're you going to follow these mandates and follow this direction of these mandates and your organization will be the, the wealthiest um, organization of its uh, existence. Money is nothing to them. It's that they write the checks. They manipulate the banks. You want, you want a piece of you want um, some money? They'll just they'll just print it into your account. It's a, and it's getting worse. The cryptocurrency is another one of their design manipulated design that you you think like uh, the banks don't have control of this and that. It, it's a CIA operation. They let cryptocurrency come out for you and I to think that we have some sort of control of our own. There is no such thing as control of our own on these things. Oh, it's a top secret. It's an underworld. And this development of uh, new currency was designed and patterned by them. The Bible says you will be using a cashless society. What, what do you think cryptocurrency is? Um, all these things that we've been fooled by and are getting fooled by. are set up by the manipulator Lucifer. 
there, I said it. I said I wasn't going to say his name, not in my video, but I did it. But the enemy is the one at the head of all these things on the earth. God is in control, of course, the, the God of heaven and earth. But do you speak to this God? Do you know this God? Is he your friend? Do you listen to him, the one that lives within you? Like, can't you see that all these things with this uh, COVID-19 doesn't, don't add up to like a spirit of himself? What, he's telling you you can't breathe the air, breathe in your own carbon monoxide? When in, in this is grade five, grade four uh, science class you can't breathe in your own mucus it's not healthy for you people were getting dizzy at the beginning of wearing masks and and now the body's gotten used to it and they don't get as dizzy as easily as before so they can wear a mask almost all day are you kidding me this is this is totally ludicrous your immune system you're killing your immune system and just because your body is so strong, your mind and everything attached to it is so strong, this is the way you were designed in the beginning. Do you not understand that you have to sleep every night to regain your strength that God gives you? Yet yeah, you're going to put a mask over your face and uh, take away your oxygen that God also gives you. Because um, the organization tells you you have to. Well, this organization is something that I'm not going to be a part of. I'm going to always speak out, like I said. Nobody's going to tell me that I'm not going to be able to speak about my God, Jesus Christ, about what's going on in the world and how the enemy is coming after everybody with the load of crap. Um, all these things, from my vantage point, of my understanding of what scriptures say, we won't even see the light of day. There will be the old and the new earth. This is about rebirth. This this place is going to be so dark and ugly in the next couple of decades. Uh, it makes me think of that movie that Denzel Washington made. It's called uh, The Book of Eli. Go ahead and watch it. A lot of things are are being played out here that are in all the movies that they play for you. They allow you to watch, but you're not supposed to believe what's going on in them. The little in, intricate parts of what they're showing you is coming, or potentially coming. All the television shows, all, all the movies, and they're even telling you in the news some of these things right now. But you're, you're, you, you can't wake up and say, oh, that, how did, can that be? Because it wasn't like anything like this 10 or 20 years ago. Uh, let's, uh, you know, wearing a mask, everybody wearing a mask. You know that mask that you put on your face? It makes you look like the enemy. Who's the enemy? What does the enemy's uh, most representation look like? You see them all the time. They show. They got his uh, logos everywhere. The World Health Organization, um, uh, uh, the CDC. All these organizations have their logo, their plaque in, in front of you, and you're looking at the enemy. They're showing you the enemy right in front of your face, and you don't see it. The enemy is the snake. Okay. So what do you look like when you put on this mask? You look like a snake. You you got the two eyes and nothing down below. You don't like. You don't even see that snake smell. So 
this is <laughs> it's so it's so crazy what and all the symbolism around the world you're looking right at his symbols and they put them all on their flags symbols that God says you're not supposed to worship and you stand up to these flags and whatever the stars, stars of flags, the moon, the sun and it's so dark but you can't see it. You put it right. The, the best way to hide something is right in front of your face. What? Oh my God! My God is awesome. They're shutting down the churches for that very reason. They they don't want you to wake up. They don't want you to get together so you can talk about what's going on. Some people see it and they can they can feel it in their bones. But you can't get together and talk about it because the enemy or the organization has set up a system where you're not allowed to socialize anymore. If if I told you what I'm telling you on this video to your face and we're talking about my 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 voice, my power in my voice, the God's power sends off a vibration in your soul. And you would hear that vibration and it'll it, it should tingle you. It should give you a vibration of truth. So they don't want that to happen. The less of the more people that don't hear about the truth, they can't they can't get the charge. And you see the the organization, the highest level of this organization know all these things. They know the truth of um, um, God of the earth and God of the world. But they they follow the God of the world who's given them, who's promised them all these things. And one of these things is life. Life on the earth. Continual life. I don't want to get into how this long life that they're expecting is. That's, an, that's even harder for you to uh, comprehend but all these systems that we belong to or is part of the organization you got to come out of the organization and be singular with the Almighty pray and listen to him is what's going on real for you to follow? I tell you, don't do it. Yes, you're going to die. They may even come to kill you because uh, you don't follow their their plan. Because um, they don't want somebody that won't listen. Let me, that brings up the, the, the agenda of the jab. Okay, this, this jab, the real jab, is meant to kill you. And meant to kill you slowly. Not, you know, you don't take the jab and you fall over because it would be too obvious. It's meant to kill you slowly because they, like I said, have an agenda to, to, to depopulate. And what else? My, uh, and I'll tell you also that more people and are not dying because they all, we all are not getting the real jab or the real, um, yeah, let's call it jab so I can still get to more viewers.
maybe nine this time. Um, the real jab is not all that's out there. There's called the placebo vaccination, which means that you're just getting uh, injected with nothing really. It's, and why would they have a real jab and a placebo? For two reasons, I'll give you one. Uh, so it's not so, as obvious that people are dying from the vaccine. They wanted to roll out this thing in a slow manner. So, and they're bringing it out in a, a manner that you continually get it. This is what boosters are all about. There's no such thing as a booster. The booster is, is the jab. You're getting another jab. You're getting another shot. Um, and placebo because as I said uh, they don't want you all to die off if they killed off all the people that listen to all these mandates who would they have as a society to do all their bidding they don't want to kill the whole world off they want to kill off a certain percentage this is being orchestrated and designed uh, in a fashion that where they can control and the people that take these jabs or shots they're going to be the people that stick around to work for them people that do not take it will be executed at some point they will be executed they will be shelled out don't you see the separation going on right now <laughs> one by one first they tell you um, you don't have to take that the, the vaccine or the jab um, because it's unlawful it gets it goes against all uh, human rights or whatever but they, they, they shun you if you don't take it as a a separate part of the outcast society. That outcast society will be non-existent at some point because they're going to have to come in and separate you. They already told you, separate you from the rest of the family because you are considered dangerous to the family. And if you go outside, you'll be considered dangerous to the rest of the population. How does this, how, how did we get to this point? I don't get, I'm confused as well. The, the blindness or the disconnect between uh, God. I'm not going to say everybody that uh, believes in these things that don't, don't have a connection to God. That's totally untrue. I'm not saying that. But it's by the, the connection, disconnection of God, that all these things are able to be manifested. Uh, because it does say in the scriptures, and this is one of the biggest eye openers for me, is uh, Revela Revelation 6, where, it, where the word says that the dead souls the dead souls will cry out to the Lord and ask why he hasn't avenged their blood. And, it's, and, it's, and it states that more will have to die, just as they did. So the Lord's people will be murdered For his return. Do you belong to the Lord? I hope so.